Hi campers, I'm Rachel and I'm the livestock instructor here at MSU Tollgate Farm. With me I have Max. He is a draft horse. More specifically, his breed is Percheron. So it's a breed of draft horse that comes originally from France. Draft horses uh, describes a class of heavy horses. So they've been selectively bred to be extra big, like you can see Max is very big, and extra strong and have big, uh, docile temperament that are easy to work with and very easy to train. Uh, historically, they were used for farming. So you want reliable horses that are big and strong, can do a lot of work, but are very calm and easy to train. Max is 24 years old and he used to work for Greenfield Village. So if you've ever been to Greenfield Village and seen the carriage horses at uh, Firestone Farm, that's what Max used to do. Now he lives here at Tollgate year round and helps kids learn about horses and helps with horse camp. He is trained to be ridden and driven so he can pull a carriage or do farm work as well as being ridden. Um, his color is gray even though he looks pretty white. For horses we call it gray when they have um, darker like almost black skin. Even if they have whitish hair, we would still call them gray. If they were truly white, they would have pink skin. And his gray is a flea bitten gray. So when they start getting these little flecks, kind of brownish red hair throughout the white base color or gray base color, we call it flea bitten gray. And Max is about 18 hands tall. That's pretty average for a draft horse. And he weighs about 1,900 pounds. Some other cool things about draft horses, you'll notice they grow a ton of hair and some of it's really pretty and kind of wavy. They also grow hair down the backs of their legs, more so than some other breeds of horses that we've seen at Tollgate. And they call these feathers. So Percherons tend to have a moderate amount of feathering and then you may see other horses like Clydesdales and um, Shire horses have a lot, a lot of feathering. Draft horses can either have a full tail that's intact like Max's. Um, so when I say intact, they do have a bony tail, kind of like dogs have a long tail that can wag. Um, so do horses. They've actually got bone, like Max has bone, down till about right here. So if I part his hair, you can kind of see there's his bony tail underneath all this long hair. So for draft horses that are strictly driven, it's pretty traditional to dock the bony part of the tail. So that means when they're really, really young, like a week old or younger, they'll dock this tail so it's very short. And they do that because when the horse is driven and they're Max's size, when they're this tall, the person walking behind them with an implement or sitting behind them um, has to hold lines to drive the horse and steer. And sometimes when they have really, really big, long tails like this with a lot of heavy hair and they're swishing at flies or swinging their tail, it can easily wrap around the lines and snatch them out of the driver's hands. So traditionally, horses that are like used for farm work, they'd have them docked really short so they don't grow so much hair and it's not so long and heavy and can't snatch the lines out of the driver's hand as easily.